Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. Here's your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. We begin with a $100 million lawsuit filed this morning in Cook County Circuit Court. The Regional Transportation Authority is suing the cities of Kankakee and Shanahan, saying they are participating in an illegal sales tax scam that cheats Chicago out of transit funding. The suit contends that the two cities have deals with the companies and consultants in which they deliver goods at satellite front offices located in the two cities, even though the goods end up in Chicago and elsewhere. Because these two cities have much lower sales taxes than the RTA area, the companies save money and then split the take with the two communities, according to the RTA lawsuit. Chicago's rate is much as nine and three quarters percent, while Kanki Keys is six and a quarter, and parts of Shanahan seven and a quarter. The suit seeks compensation for the sales tax revenue the RTA says it's owed. Well, more evidence. The apartment market is continuing to thrive even in the suburbs. The suburban occupancy rate is almost 94 percent in the second quarter, inching higher once again to the highest level in nearly four years, according to appraisal research counselors. Rents are at an all-time high, jumping 11 percent since bottoming out in 2009. And rents may continue to climb as demand continues to grow, but supply is not. The weak housing market has been good for apartment landlords as many renters are staying longer because they can't afford to make big down payments or they don't qualify for a loan. And others are choosing not to buy now, fearing home prices have further to fall. Well, coffee prices are falling. Kraft is lowering the price of Maxwell House by 6%. This follows a similar move by rival Folgers, which is owned by Smucker. Smucker was the first major roaster to drop prices after more than a year of price increases. Coffee futures jumped to a 34-year high in May on tight supplies and speculative buying, but have since come off those highs. And in other commodities-related news, ADM is closing a soybean processing plant in Galesburg. 31 local jobs will be lost as a result of the move, made because of weak demand for soybean meal, which is used for animal feed. The plant has been idle since April, and some of the workers may be able to transfer to other ADM facilities. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. Please stick with chicagobusiness.com for all of your local business headlines. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.